and you guys were not hearing me i'm so sorry about that um so yeah please like i said join the live stream like the video okay please like the video all right so we're just going to be appreciating the life of pastor taiwo odukoya and how much he supported women do you understand whether it is in ministry whether it is in business the man supported a lot of women a whole lot of women and that's what i want to talk about in this live stream i already did like a 20 minutes live stream that was not it was not recording or this the sound wasn't going so the man pastor taiwo odukoya see uh, the body of christ in nigeria we lost a gem we lost a real person hi please let me know in the chat if you can hear me but i'm sure that you can hear me i've taken out the microphone that i was using before pastor taiwo odukoya <laughs> you know eh, i read a lot of pastor bimbo's books um while she was alive and before she passed I think she came to my university once. I was under her administration. I think in my hundred level or so before she passed. I can't remember. Pastor Bimbo was such a blessing. A huge blessing to the body of Christ. But guess what? And that's what I want to talk about. The experience of Pastor Bimbo we had, if Pastor Taiwo was not a secured man, if Pastor Taiwo was not a man who is not intimidated by his wife's success, we will not be able to experience all those things. All those things that all of us, oh, Pastor Bimbo, oh, singles are married. Hey, de, 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 de. We won't have any of that. It was because Pastor Taiwo was a secured man. He was not intimidated. His wife's success did not remove a cubit of his manhood. Because we've seen cases of men who their wife's success, if they pinch them for body. Yes, so they can't stand it. They will turn to a problem to the woman. Yes, so a lot, a lot of women, whether ministry or business. So, Pastor Taiwo supported a lot, a lot of women, a lot of women. He shepherded women with so much integrity of heart. I look at him as a modern day Mordecai. You know how Mordecai stewarded Esther into becoming the queen that she was? That's how I see Pastor Taiwo. That's the kind of person he is, he was in his lifetime. He was not afraid of allowing the women in his life to shine. Apart from Pastor Bimbo, after she passed, he married Pastor Nomsi. Everybody, we all experienced Pastor Nomsi now. Such a happy soul. Let me change my sitting position. Such a happy, happy soul. She was such a happy person. You, you, you say if the husband not they give him peace for us, the other's happiness, enjoy your life. You know, Pastor Nomsi. Hi, thank you for joining the live stream. Enjoy your life. If she was not happy at home, would she come out and be doing all of that? No. Pastor Taiwo gave the women in his life peace. He did not turn to obstacle in their lives. How many women do if we want to start talking about women? Both the ones in ministry and the one doing business that their husbands turn to problem today. The whole internet is not going to contain us. So. It will not contain us at all. But Pastor Taiwo supported the women in his life. He was an anchor. You know when they say you have a man in your life, that's how Pastor Taiwo was to a lot of women. I remember that there was a particular word back that Pastor Koji was talking about. Him. Well, he just said it in passing, but it's all those little, little things that me I used to hear. And he said, 
A lot of married women are in Pastor Tao's entourage. They travel with him all over the world. But we did not one day. There was no one day we heard Fifi Fifi. You know, the, you, you know there are some. If you not come to public, but with the year and for background, waiting they happen. You understand? We Pastor Tao we didn't hear such reports about him. He was disciplined. Disciplined to the core. And he had a lot of women around him. He did not turn them to his harem. You know, these days we have harem in the church now. <laughs> he didn't turn them to that. And he was not intimidated by the women. Do you know, do you know the caliber of women that call Pastor Taiwo Pastor? Let me start from Auntie Ibuku Awoshika, former chairman, or I don't know if she's still currently the chairman of First Bank. Chairman of First Bank, of a bank. The fact that a woman is even a chairman of a bank is, <laughs> you know, then he's not just chairman of any bank. Hmm? You know, there are banks. You have old generation bank, new generation bank, fintech these days. We are talking about First Bank of Nigeria where they have old people's money. Money that cannot finish. <laughs> Serious. Money that cannot finish because... Special people were not there when well, they do your family you never know so they get money in the first bank. Yes, all those old Nigeria money, it they deal. They are sitting down on it. And this woman is the chairman of that bank. And she calls Pastor Taiwa a pastor. She will kneel down for him, respects him. And she'd not just become his member when she became who she is from day one. It tells you that such a person, because these days now, there are people that they are not willing to invest in anybody's life. But when a person is becoming somebody, ah, that's my daughter in the Lord. That's my, eh, we know. <laughs> We've heard, we have heard. Not just only Auntie Buku Awoshika. I know that um, this woman, what's her name? Agatha, um, Auntie Agatha, um, Rift, is it Rift TV? Yes, no. Um, Agatha and Agatha and Mata, yes, Pastor Tao is a pastor. Um, many, there's so many women, ministerial, uh, business. So, Pastor Tao was supporting women, he, he was not intimidated by their success, he did not ever see it as a competition. That ah, the women in my ministry, maybe they are more popular than me. No, humble man. He allowed them, gave them freedom to express themselves. It did not become competition, competing with his wife. Because these days now, we have those people that are competing with their wives. They, they are not, they are not, they are not, they are not um, secured in their positions as leaders. You, the fact that you, you are the head does not mean you will be the, the exterior, you will be the face of a family. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You could be behind the scenes supporting your wives. And, you know, the, the narrative has changed because of men like Pastor Taiwo. It's not like he's perfect, though, but compared to that time, it, it has really, really changed. It has really, really changed. And there's nothing like a man supporting me. I mean, I'm not part of those people that say, oh, let's do away with men. No, you need men in this world. You need good men. And a man like Pastor Taiwo is a good man because he's, he's, he's somebody like that that can tell those high... You know, when a woman is a high flyer, they need people who are secure and who can also tell them the truth. Because he, he did everybody, but it's not anything, okay? It, sometimes we women can tend to overdo. But you need such people who can always call you to order and say, no, don't do it that way. Don't talk to your husband that way. From a man's perspective, without um, feeling inferior, feeling insecure, such a person is the kind of person Pastor Tyro was in his lifetime he could call those women and talk to them and they know that they whatever they tell them is third person will not hear 
Yes, now because these days now it's not as if women they gossip past women. If I'm if I'm saying the truth, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> yes, like women that they, they gossip past women. So those women felt secure with Pastor Tyro. So many Musumola and Musumola Omoru, those are the ones that I can remember now. Um, Megapo, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry, but she not flog me. Mona no vex. And all these women, he supported them. Even I'm seeing younger people talking about Pastor Taiwo and how his ministry was such a blessing to their lives. I'm grateful for his ministry because now, now we have women pastors on television. It was because Pastor Bimbo started that thing. She gave other people the wings to fly. Somebody can have vision now. I, I want to have a TV program as a woman in ministry. In 1995, 96, it wasn't like that. It not be like that. It wasn't like that. So I am so grateful for his life, for the women, for the men, for his family. Such we need some such men in this generation. Even these days now that let's not even talk about ministry. Let's talk about people who are content creators. I've seen people who say, oh, my husband said I should stop doing this thing. And I'm like, really? And a woman, now, you know what making a house scatter? She could suffer the entire house. It takes a secured man. It takes a man that is, is very secure in his identity to allow his wife fly. I don't know what I saying a story of um, how they wanted to make so one woman minister. Her husband went to tell them that no, they cannot make his wife minister. That how would the wife have more money than him? What a small-minded person. What a small-minded man. Pastor Tyro was not a small-minded man. He had an expansive heart. And he didn't misuse the stewardship that God gave to him. Because you know now, all of us were as we talk about church issues on this channel, we've seen different stories now. Anyway, I'm just grateful for his life. Okay, I'm grateful that he was able to exemplify because some of us that our husbands now are allowing us to do same things because they saw them pass a time do the same for their wives. If Pastor Tao did not allow his wife to fly, people will still be stuck. Because a lot of people are still stuck in that mindset. So let's, let's, not, let's not talk as if people's mindset has changed. I know I was in, my, in the first video that I did, that was, I was saying that there are some times that even the man may even be open to such things. Please like the live stream and share if you're just joining. Church or church people. Church or church or church. People die so church or church or church. They say, hey, Hey, you allow your wife to be doing this type of thing. It will not put, you know, the man will not be like, it's true. <laughs> Especially people that don't know them say, hey, it's true. Or people that are not sure of themselves that want to please people. They say, how can your wife be more popular than you? And you really allowed it. The man will not be having issues. She will not know that it's people that are going to do their mouths not the rest so people like Pastor Taiwo were grateful for his life how he has supported women in business and ministry were so so grateful I watched Pastor you know, Pastor Bishop Michael Konkwo I was looking at him he looked so healthy at 77 and I was crying. I was just crying. I was just crying. I was just crying. The tears don't just come out from my eye. I was just crying listening to him. He's such a father. And he gave me so much comfort. That's why I can come and do this video because the things are heavy for my mind. I couldn't even talk about it. Like, it was, you know, there are some people that are just like, oh, we have this father in the Lord somewhere. It's like a rock. You know, sometimes you just go back. After we've talked about different nonsense that goes, there are just some people that I just go back to listen to them and have that comfort that, okay, just see people who love God. <laughs> you get. 
Ah, my diamonds. Oh, it is well. It is well. We cannot question God, bro. Do you understand? We can't question God, but we thank God for his life. And it just shows that it's a new season that we are in. Things are changing. The people that we used to hold on to as anchors, they are gradually going. Do you understand? But I'm grateful for his life. I'm grateful for all the people that his life has blessed and shaped. Do you understand? So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I think I'm going to end the live stream. Um, um, if you join later, please like, okay. You can use the super thanks or super chat, okay, to encourage us. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.